and welcome to Reuben H. Fleet Science Center Experiment of the Month. My name is Laura, and today we're going to be doing a celery and food coloring experiment. It's a pretty simple experiment you can do at home to learn a little bit more about plants and how they absorb water. So first, let's take a look at what supplies we'll need. So, we'll need celery, water, food coloring, cups, and scissors. Have all your supplies together? Okay, great. Let's get started. First, we're going to add our food coloring to our jars of water. You can add them in any order into any jars that you want. Put about 10 drops into each one. Okay, just a couple more drops and then we'll be ready to go. Nice, now we have our colors all mixed. Okay, let's grab our celery stalks now. Pick four stalks that have a lot of leaves at the top. Before we stick the celery into our jars, let's cut the bottoms off to help them absorb water better, just like we would do with a bouquet of flowers at home. Now let's put our celery into the jars. And you can stir the water around a little bit to make sure the food coloring is all mixed in. Now let's wait and watch to see what happens. What do you think will happen? Discuss this with your friends while we wait. Just like you and me, plants need water to survive. But where do plants get this water? Water comes from the soil surrounding the roots. Water is taken up through the roots into the trunk of the tree through special cells called xylem. Xylem cells are long rectangular cells that are packed close together so water can easily move through them. Xylem lines the tree all the way from the bottom roots up to the top branches. So water moves from the roots up the trunk into the top branches, into the leaves. In the leaves, water is used for a process called photosynthesis. That's how plants make energy. Water also exits through the leaves in tiny pores called stomata. This process is called transpiration. Because of photosynthesis and transpiration, there is less water at the top of the tree than at the roots. This causes water to be pulled in at the roots and up the trunk of the tree to the leaves. This is a natural process whereby water is moved from an area of high concentration, or where there's a lot of it, to an area of low concentration, or where there's less of it. So that's how plants absorb water! Now that we've learned the science behind it, let's check on our celery. celery in the colored water for about an hour and a half, but you can leave it in as long as you'd like. The longer the celery is in the water, the more color it'll absorb. Now let's take a closer look and see what happened to our celery. Oh my gosh, look at all those colors. It's easy to see that water was pulled up through the base of each celery stalk. Now let's check out the tops and see what they look like. As we move from the base of the celery to the top, you can see red coloring throughout the stalk. Even in the leaves, there's red coloring. That's pretty neat. It's just like our tree. For a good comparison, take an unused piece of celery and look at the difference. Now let's check out what our celery looks like on the inside. Take a closer look at the fibers in the celery. That's the xylem, where the water was absorbed. Our celery and food coloring experiment was an easy way to see science in action. If you'd like to take this experiment a step further, you could try doing it with white flowers. Thanks for joining me today for Reuben H. Fleet Science Center's Experiment of the Month. See you next time.